What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. The Soren 6 Minute Series continues today, and today we're hitting the abs. You're probably thinking, sore abs? I haven't had sore abs in like, uh, shit, never? That's probably because you're not training your abs the same way that you are your other muscle groups, meaning you're not applying eccentric overload to your ab exercises. We do a lot of short, abbreviated, concentric only reps, and we never really focus on that whole other half of the rep, especially when it comes to ab training. But no more, because today we're going to address that. In the Soren 6 Minute Ab Series, you have four exercises that you're going to do. The first three you're going to do for 45 seconds. The fourth you're going to do for 30 seconds. Then you're going to get a 15 second rest. This whole circuit you're going to repeat twice for a total of six minutes. Now let's look at those exercises. First up, as always, we're targeting the bottom up. So we're going to get in this dragon thrust position. And what you're going to do here is shoot your legs out and then try to eccentrically control and lower them slowly towards the ground. When you get down, pull your legs in and then shoot them out again and lower down. You continue to do this for 45 seconds. And if you're more of a beginner, you don't have to shoot them out at this angle here. The lower you are to the ground when you do that, the harder the exercise is. So you might want to shoot them up almost to a vertical here and then try to lower them down from there. Next up, after 45 seconds of that, now we're going to try to hit the obliques. We're going to try to hit the rotational component of ab training and we do that with the thread the needle. So for here, you get in your side, get into a side plank, and try to resist as you reach under as far as you possibly can without allowing yourself to over rotate or even just fall down to the ground. You, from there, you're gonna come back out of that, come up to the top, and then repeat and go all the way through. When we do this exercise, we're gonna work all the way through on one side, and then the next time through, we're gonna come and work all the way through on the other side. So if you work the left side the first round through, you work the right side on the second round through. From here, we move into sort of our top-down eccentric overload. And you get in position here on a bench. You can anchor your feet if it makes it a little bit easier for you. Now what you do is you take a plate. It could be, again, beginners. You could start with a five-pound plate if you have to. You don't have to use a 45-pound plate. But you're going to get in position here, raise the, uh, the plate up overhead, and then allow yourself to start lowering backwards. Allow your torso to now start becoming a subject to the force of gravity and making it that much more difficult for your abs to hold. When you get down to about 45 degrees from here, pull the plate down to your chest, sit back all the way, and then start over again, raise the plate up. Continue to repeat this for 45 seconds. When you're almost done now, we got one more exercise here, you gotta get down to the ground. This is the fourth exercise, this is the one you do for 30 seconds. It's a cliffhanger mountain climber. Getting in this cliffhanger position alone is a challenge because you have that more of a resistance to extension here. Your body wants to fold up into extension and you have to hold on for dear life. So we have this eccentric overload, now we add some movement from the lower body, not to mention a little bit of conditioning work, and it becomes a hell of a challenge. Do that, you've earned 15 seconds of rest. I know, it doesn't sound like a lot, but this is not sore in six minutes for no reason. It's sore in six minutes because this is damn hard. Get back in, go for round two. I'm gonna show you what it looks like here now in action.
have it, guys, soar in six minutes in the books. If you haven't seen all the other ones that we've done so far in this series, make sure you check them out on our channel. All of them. We cover back, we cover triceps, we cover biceps, we've covered legs. Everything is there. However, it's not a good idea to think that you're going to put all these in together into one workout. That is not what these are designed for. These are really, really intense. They're designed to sort of spark and more so prove to yourself that yes, you can make any muscle sore if you train it the right way. If you're looking for a program that lays it all out for you, manipulates the volumes as you should follow them, make sure that you're not overtraining, but at the same time, make sure you're training hard enough. Head to athletenext.com, get our athletenext training system. And uh, again, let me know what other things you want me to cover. Maybe not in this series, but in other series as well. And I'll do my best here to do that for you in the days and weeks ahead. All right, guys. See you soon.